Good evening. My name is Becky Mulvane and I'm one of the technology TOSAs here at Islander Middle School. I want to spend the next few minutes talking to you about Schoology. Schoology is our internal educational learning management system. It is an online platform that allows us for online learning, communication, collaboration, and increased student access to curriculum and supplemental content. Um, the Marshall Island School District site is not visible to the public. You do need an account in order to access the site, and students in grades 6 through 12 use Schoology throughout our district. Learning to safely navigate in an online learning environment is an important aspect of a 21st century education, and here at IMS, we use Schoology to allow students an opportunity to learn to leave a positive digital footprint in a controlled site, which helps them to prepare for the global digital world in which we live in. So we do get a lot of questions about the difference between Schoology versus Skyward. So I want to take a minute just to give a brief overview. Schoology is information needed before an assignment is turned in. So this is due dates, extra handouts, etc. Where Skyward is our student information system and it's information after the assignment has been turned in. So this is scores and grades earned on assignments, overall course grades, and this is where you see list of missing work. Please ignore the Schoology reports about overdue assignments and grades. This occurs when teachers allow a choice of turning in a digital assignment or a paper copy of an assignment. Schoology doesn't recognize the paper copies and so it appears as if it is overdue. However, please ignore that information in Schoology. Skyward is your accurate tool for looking up missing work. In addition, please notice that there are two different logins, two different URLs for Schoology. The parents have a different URL than the students. So the students use the MISD period Schoology.com and this is linked to their school Google account. So if they are accessing Schoology from a home computer, they will need to log out of any personal Google accounts first. We do encourage you to sit down with your child and find out how they are using Schoology. They could be submitting assignments, double checking due dates, seeing what they missed if they were absent. Um, there's always extra handouts available in Schoology and some classes are using online discussions, polls, quizzes, and a variety of different uses for the online management system. In addition, your child could ask a question to the class that pertains to either the course that they are in or the content they're learning and there you can use their peers in order to get a feedback or an answer instead of waiting to the next day to actually check in with that teacher again or wait for an email response from the teacher. So Schoology has a lot of different benefits as well and with a Schoology parent account it allows you to go in and view course material and assignment information. You can view comments your child has made online and different online activities within the Schoology site. But know that other students are listed as anonymous, um, but you can see your own child's comments and your own child's work that has been uploaded to Schoology. What parent accounts cannot do is you cannot submit an assignment for your child, and please don't use Schoology to message staff members. Um, email is the best and preferred method for that. When you are in Schoology parent account, this is from the web browser. So in the top right hand side, you will see your name and a downward arrow. It is important that you click on that downward arrow and select your child. If you have more than one in grades six through 12, they will both be listed there. But this is Schoology. Down the very center is information or updates from classes. On the right is upcoming assignments for your child. On the left, you have the calendar tab and up top are courses and groups. If you were to select that calendar tab, you would see lots of different assignments here. Some of them are going to be in class only and then some will be longer projects or homework. And then you can click on any of them and they give more information. You can also go up top and go into a course and in a specific course you can click on updates for um, announcements about that class or materials tab will be where you can filter for assignments and see extra handouts. The app does look different than the browser, so just be aware that they look different, but all the same information is there. And your child can submit assignments with Schoology, and they actually can upload from their Google Drive and OneDrive that the district has provided them. The great thing about digital assignments is your child will have that 
time-stamped confirmation if they submit, but just a reminder, ignore the overdue notices in Schoology. Your child may have submitted the assignment in person and not electronically. If you do not have a parent Schoology account and you did not receive an email already from Schoology, please go to the Islander Middle School website and contact the Teptosis. So Becky Mulvain and Clay Lahari will be able to provide you with the information you need to get into your parent school account. And their email addresses are on the Islander Middle School website. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening.